Uh, I'm calling in regards to the full body scanners in airports. I live here in southern New Mexico, about two hours away from El Paso. Uh, I work for an engineering firm, and I, I try to talk to people here, but they're all compartmentalized. They think I'm crazy. Uh, but when we get sent to the field, you know, we fly out of El Paso. And uh, I'm strongly against the full body scanners for obvious reasons. But uh, my question is, is there any kind of legal... Uh, Exemption that we can that we can get so that we don't have. Uh, to yes, go sir. It yeah, yeah, yeah. They have no law to do this. They just order you. The feds have seized the airports, and now they want to expand out to the trains, the highways, the courthouses with the naked body scanners. In fact, they are, and they are saving it all. And so people revolted and said they weren't going to do it. So they say, okay, you can go for a pat down instead. But now the El Paso Times and others report. Uh, that also at the Chicago airport, they're trying to force everyone through them because if they can make you submit to this, they can do anything. You, you know, you bring printed out news articles. You know, Johns Hopkins researchers say, we'll give you skin cancer. We'll give you testicular. And you go, hey, this gives you cancer. I'm not going to be part of it. You know, you're a human being. You're not in the Soviet Union. You're not a prisoner. And just pull out the articles and say, look, I'm not going to do it. It gives me cancer. They'll go, please come right on through. They don't want to scare the other sheep. And so you just confidently, hey, this gives me cancer. Uh, here's the Associated Press uh, and CNET News admitting you're storing this uh, and uh, that you're saving it. And so here, here's some documents. Here's some news articles. Uh, you know, I, I would warn people this can give you cancer. Uh, hey, you TSA workers, you're getting backscatter radiation. And uh, that's what I plan to do. I mean, you know, and it's enjoyable. I'm, I'm a real human. I'm a, I'm a free person. I'm not intimidated. I walk right up. And if they want to get uppity with me, you're my servant, pal. You know what? Uh, you know, these things give you cancer, and it's admitted now they're recording it. No, you're not going to shoot a pornographic video shoot with me. You know, Playboy could offer my wife a million dollars, and she isn't going to do it, and neither am I. I'm not going to go pose in Playgirl. You don't get to scan my genitals. You don't get to get video of my bits. That's the end. And if they get all uppity, just say, look. This is the way it is. You work for me. The government staged the terror attacks. And you know what? You got to stand up to them. And if more of us do it, and by the way, there's lawsuits. The airlines want to pull them out. Air travels down by almost 20%. We're going to beat these creatures. Anything else, sir? Uh, yeah, so, um, and I agree with you. I think that if, if you can't. It's simple. You can't You're not going to videotape my genitals. Yeah, if you if you can't if you get searched and you walk through a metal detector and you can't find anything, then there's no need for a full body scan. Oh, but, but they've got to uh, keep us safe from the terror attacks they're staging. Yeah, and so uh, is is there has there ever been any kind of even on a mainstream news channel has there ever been any kind of uh, interview showing the the detail of these images? Because I've heard people say, oh, it's it's just. Uh, uh, solid objects you can't see the sir they're complete liars yes we've got articles at infowars and prison planet with the tsa's own training manuals that show you completely naked with a scan okay and where they admit they save the images it's seen at news today at the courthouses the airports it's everywhere sir just go do the searches print it up i appreciate your call now with us for the next hour and uh, 14 minutes or so is alan watt and I want to get into the medical scientific dictatorship today with him and why he thinks they're now coming out and saying, okay, we are recording your naked bodies. Okay, we are putting lithium in the water. Okay, we do want to put Prozac in the water. Okay, we do want to give you shots that literally go in and reprogram your brain by destroying receptor sites or causing autoimmune responses every time your body releases stress hormones. To literally kill the act of resistance, to literally neutralize the instinct of self-preservation and make us servile slaves. They've gone from denying this was their plan, even though we analyzed their own documents have been warning you for more than a decade, to now suddenly over 100 articles the last week, a hundred, hundreds, I mean just hundreds in the last month, suddenly telling you your brain is malfunctioning. You're, there's a human defect. We're going to fix it with live viruses we inject into your body that go to your brain and with lithium, an antipsychotic that's highly toxic. Alan Watt is a longtime researcher, and he really needs no introduction here on the show. Come to TheMatrix.com's his website. Alan, good to have you here, my friend. It's a pleasure to be back on again, Alex. 
Alan, let's cut to the chase. Why? I, mean, I know you scan the news and enemy transmissions. Why are they suddenly coming out and saying, yeah, we've been drugging you and we're going to drug you more? Uh, it's just a matter of training the public. We've been trained incrementally over the years up to this present condition. And most people do accept the government is now uh, an authority. It's not really a matter of thinking through it. It's a matter of just accepting your training. You come to this this very vague conclusion that uh, uh, government is uh, a, the boss, basically. We're not uh, a sort of republic or, or a democracy. It's a matter of training the public. And that's what the big boys said they'd, they'd do 50 years ago, 60 years ago. They would train us to accept a, a form of scientific dictatorship, a world ru ruled by experts, better people than we are. And uh, unfortunately, uh, it works in a lot of people. Uh, they do accept um, the government is now an authority. That's what it is. It's an authority. It's the authority. And we're supposed to simply obey whatever they do because they know better. Uh, that's that's the end of slavery when you accept that type of uh, rulership. That's it. Well, I mean, to openly now admit they naked body scan us and save every scan, to openly admit they're putting poison in the water, now they admit bisphenol A is sterilizing us, and the news giggles and says, maybe that's good. <laughs> And maybe being injected and having your emotions taken away, literally having your life ended. I mean, they're murdering you. You're still moving around and walking, but you take this shot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And you like that. You'll go, oh, government wants to destroy my brain? Please, right here, inject, inject, inject. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true. Seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country. And it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank. And it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way. And you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for SurvivalSeedBank.com. You worry, but only because you're paying attention. What's happening in the Gulf of Mexico illustrates an audacity toward nature. A similar audacity called GMO, or genetically modified organisms, means that the quality of commercially grown food may be compromised with our health in the balance. Now that summer's here, what better time to learn about the bounty that nature provides in wild edible food? Let author Linda Runyon show you the best kept secret in plain sight that food is everywhere you look. This summer, for the cost of a good meal or two out, you can literally starvation proof yourself and your loved ones against any future craziness and put up tons of free food too. Whatever experiment is being run on us, you can rest assured that Linda's 50 or so staple foods aren't involved. Our foods are their enemy. So go to ofthefield.com or call toll-free 1-888-51-EAT-FREE and take that first step. Make your oasis of food security and nutrition now. That's O-F-T-H-E-F-I-E-L-D.com or call 1-888-513-2837. Start now and make 2010 your year of independence. Protect your freedoms and be independent by learning how to maintain, repair, and customize your own firearms through these exclusive video training courses on DVD from the American Gun Smithing Institute. Call and get a free two-hour sampler DVD video and catalog. See just how quickly and easily you can learn firearm disassembly and reassembly, accurizing, customizing, super tuning, refinishing, trigger repair, and much, much more for rifles, pistols, and shotguns. Courses available for both the hobbyist and the professional. You can even get certified as a gun. Smith to make money part-time, full-time, or as a retirement income doing what you love. Call 1-800-247-5032 to order your free sampler DVD and catalog. That's 1-800-247-5032. Call now and get a bonus $10 saving coupon. 1-800-247-5032 or go to AmericanGunsmithDVD.com. Learn how. Learn now with AmericanGunsmithDVD.com, your source for how-to gunsmithing videos. Okay, folks, emergency situation. 
Um, I'm consulting for Jesse Ventura's TV show, and we're going to different federal prisons, FEMA campsites that they admittedly have up in Taylor, and Camp Swift, which is a World War II prisoner of war camp. And in America, Rob Dew and Aaron Dykes, this is out in Bastrop, right outside Bastrop, simply pulled up far away from the camp or videotaping. A Captain Martinez came over, said, what are you doing? They said, we're shooting, establishing shots for a TV show. And he said, I'm calling police on you and has been somewhat, uh, well, let's go to Aaron Dykes and Rob Dew. The police are coming. In America, you don't go and videotape these FEMA centers. You, you, you don't show the camps because then Glenn Beck will have to admit they exist. Uh, what's going on, gentlemen? Well, uh, we were over here across the street from Camp Swift and um, shooting some establishing shots. And uh, I, I was far away from Aaron. I was over on another part of it shooting some stuff. And uh, I saw a car pull up, and I turned the camera over. The guy's talking to Aaron, asking him questions. And um, so I, I finished shooting what I was shooting, and then I walk up. And uh, the guy was, you know, repeating the questions. And, you know, Aaron is under no obligation to answer his questions that he was asking. So Aaron didn't answer him. And, uh, and I, they asked me, and I said, we're just shooting establishing shots for a TV show. And he said, who do you work for? And I said, I don't think I have to answer that. And he said, okay, fine. They're not answering the questions. He was talking on his uh, uh, soap camera that was running video at the time. And then he was going around, I guess, making a report, shooting the license plate of the car we were in. And, um you know, Guys, so give me the number. The Hold on. Give me the number. Look up the number to Camp Swift. I'll call them. It's Alex Jones and Jesse Ventura. That's who. That's who. They told you it was a TV show. Give the number on you right there. We can give you the number over the air, actually. All right. Yeah. Make sure it's the right number. What he gave you his card. There's a public affairs office for this camp. It's a 512-782-5001. Is there a lot of wind out there? Because your phone is really ruffling. Yeah, there is. I'll get in the car real quick. Yeah, get in the car. Get in the car. And now now this happened in Pittsburgh, and they called in a terror alert and said you were trying to blow the base up, and that ended right. up making the news. We had all the vi right. the videos in Police State 4, the rise of FEMA. Uh, all, you politely walked and up. All so we did was ask the guy questions. Yeah, yeah and, 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 then, and then you politely left, and then they lied and filed false reports of the police that you were trying to run a terror attack on them. This is, and, and we see in the news where they arrest women, anybody that tries to even ask questions about the camps. In America, you get arrested for this because we're land of the cowards, home of the slaves. And, and we're going back to... That's a historical marker, Alex. I mean, it's a, it's a public place. There's a sign right here that says historical marker, and it's pointing to the thing. But you put your camera on it, and you, you know you, they ask you a bunch of questions like you're a criminal. And now I'm afraid if we leave, if we drive down the road, we're going to get pulled over by a sheriff. And who, you know, I don't want to get and be in that kind of. And then they'll claim. Sheriff. Then they'll claim you tried to do you're something. Right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's st lying is standard procedure. Uh, give us the phone number. It is five one two seven eight two five zero zero one. Do you want to put Aaron on? And because he actually had first contact with the guy. Yeah, but give us the number again. Five one two seven eight two. Five zero zero one. All right, you're at Camp Swift. Tell folks the road that's on. Camp Swift, it's off of uh, 95, about six miles north of Bastrop, Texas. So you can look it up. Um, it actually used to be a lot bigger. We were driving around in another area and talked to a lady because uh, we were asking her where it was, and she said, this all used to be Camp Swift. They've uh, consolidated it and uh, sold it off after, you know, it was a World War II prison camp. Yeah, she said her her dad was actually the first one of the first people to buy a section of the land. Now, by the way, that's not even your main site. That was where you were supposed to go second. I want you to go to the main admitted FEMA camp. Right. Uh, I mean, I don't. I mean, you guys can stay there and wait for him to come claim that you work for Osama bin Laden if you want, uh, or you can just get on down the road and make a few turns. Well, the sheriff is here right now. He has pulled up. Oh, good. We're back in one minute. Alan Watt, I apologize. This is live and breaking, but, but he'll be with us after this ends, and we'll have Alan back up in the, in the next week or so for a full hour. But Alan Watt, stay there. Third hour coming up. InfoWars reporters, Rob Dew and Aaron Dykes uh, with the police for daring to be at a historical marker, a concentration camp. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network.
the question is, where should the American people draw their line in the sand? What have we got? A republic or a monarchy? A republic is based on a constitution which protects minority rights. It's not democracy, not mob rule, two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. So they think they own our land? They think they're on our water, children, our education, our money. We have to define who we are and what we will tolerate. Somebody